good morning students welcome to your tele education class so how are you all must be fine okay so are we ready now fine so we'll start our today's session so in today's class we will be going to discuss something that is very important in every aspect of english okay what's that that is related to tenses tenses to one of the subjects and i say okay on a exam would do as routine would do as you know for a cure tenses would be a very important part it was a board important part of all z2 to my hot eye to my look like you boy z kuna exam would do this in ilika cure so we'll be discussing something that is related to tenses it will this has been done before with you people we are only revising that one okay so we'll start off with the very first tense so how many tenses are there three tenses right what were those present past and future we today will start discussing about the very first tense kuntu hai to very good that is present tense okay now if you people remember present tense is divided in four different parts again what were those the first one is simple present second one is present continuous third one is present perfect and the fourth one is present perfect continuous so in today's session aaj je to amar session hobo that will be discussing the pretty basic one tar mane prathom to simple present okay so let's see what do we have here so first up we have a little picture here what's that it's about a farm where some people are working and we have a line here what's that line my grandfather is a farmer my grandfather is a farmer then what next we have he works hard in the field my grandfather is a farmer he works hard in the field then i do interesting things and afterwards i remove weeds we have four lines here first one was what my grandfather is a farmer second one is he works hard in the field i do interesting things and i remove weeds now tell me one thing eketa bostu kene ko kotha koise something that is happening right now kichu one bostu etia hoy ase bhabishyote hobo ne otito thua well ebila information hoy jetu etia hoy ase so when we give information about things that are happening right now that is mostly what present tense okay so my grandfather is a farmer this is an information so what we'll do we'll use present tense here he works hard in a field i do interesting things i remove weeds then what's next we have so what this guy is doing i husk the coconuts i husk the coconuts tar mane ki ki narikolor bakoli gusai then what do you have next this line is what he is watering something right over pani di ss age so the line would be what i water the plants i water the plants then after that i have a list now complete list okay so from this point onwards i'll start my explanation so we are discussing present tense as i have already told you so there are certain uses of that one so look at the lines i go to my grandfather's house i do interesting things i remove weeds my grandfather is a farmer he works hard in a field i husk the coconuts i water the plants so in these lines there are certain words say go in the first line do is the second line then remove is 
works, husk, and water. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. So you know what is happening here? explain As I have already said, this is present tense. So what we do in present tense? We give information about day-to-day -day activities. You know, we give information about universal truths and we give information about something that is fixed or something like that. Okay. So yet ki hoise first one to ki hoise I go go to my grandfather's house. So which one is your verb here? It's go, right? Then second line may it's I do interesting things. Remove is works ask and water. These are our verbs. Okay. So how do you use the verb in simple present tense? Monotone. Say, suppose you know there was a list called conjugations. Say that can I First thing was what? First person. You know. Sorry. Singular number, plural number, first person, second person, third person. Suppose during my verb go to law, I'll say I go, we go in first person. First person singular number to hobo I go, plural hobo we go, second person singular hobo you go, plural hobo you know again you go, third person singular to ki hobo he she it goes and the plural one is they go. So in present tense when we talk about daily things, hey to what I present tense why? And the thing we need to remember here is what? When it's third person singular, we add an S after the verb. Say I is first person here, so it's go. I is first person again, do. I remove. My grandfather is a farmer. Then he is third person, right? So yet, amiki kurisu, we have added an S after the main verb. Okay? Fine. Now moving ahead. Few more information here. This is a government hospital, right? And what do we have in this government hospital? There is a lady who's treating a patient. So some has on line to key essay here. Yeah. This is my aunt. She works in a government hospital. Then she takes care of patients. Then these are my three lines. Okay. Then after that, what else do I have? My grandmother is a doctor. She takes patients every morning. Then I help her during my stay there. I help her during my stay there. Just like the first said, from the grandfather So you know how he helped the grandfather. Now we have the second set. Kitu tami So grandmother. This is my aunt. She works in a government hospital. She takes care of patients. My grandmother is a doctor. She takes patients every morning. She cooks well. I help her during my stay there. Verb ke ta zudi akwe verse wa tu maluk sobe. What are our verbs? Okay. So again, wa tu maluk sobe third person singular number wa kotha to koi silo third person subject to jodi third person singular number hoy. We add an S after the <coughs> sorry verb. Right? So this is then she is our third person so we have added this one again yet so get a third person hoy so me yaar bisot eta add use korisu subject to bisot right then again she so we have used this one she we have used this one right so that is the basic rule of present tense right now moving ahead there are a few fill in the blanks questions present subject to third person singular we add an s after the verb 
we'll have to follow those things while answering these questions. So, Asun ki hai sir. So, fill in the blanks. You know, you have these words: go, ride, go, wait, enjoy, spend, and love. Ek ata hobda ase, ek ata hobda use kori. You'll have to fill in certain blanks. So, in this picture, what is happening? We have three people: two girls, one boy. And probably they are going to school. So the line would be what? Zivan and Deepa are my close friends. We dash to school together. Zivan and Deepa are my close friends. We dash to school together. Right? So V is uh, singular or plural? It's definitely plural, right? Singular means as on hoy. Plural means more than one. So Zeevan, Deepa are my close friends. So one of the girls and the is the speaker. So three zone manu asse mane. That is more than one. So yath ki ho wo. I am schoolot ki koru. I am schoolot hathor ne schoolot jao. Schoolot jao, right? So what could be the answer? Very good. The word would be go. We go to school together. Okay, very good. Now, Asun Saoruki is next. Every Sunday, we dash to a farm near my house. Every Sunday, we dash to a farm near my house. Protect Robi Bare, we dash to a farm near my house. It is a tabusu monotrahiba, yet protect Robi Bar will go say, Tamaniki, protect Robi Bare, ten lokezai. So it was a habitual action, we go, you know. So when the thing is habitual, then also we use present tense. Okay? If the thing is a habitual thing, then also we use present tense. So what would be the word here? Kiobo. Go, ride, go with, enjoy, spend, love. Very good. The word is go once again. So your answer would be what? We, every Sunday, we go to a farm near my house. You know, with the Krovi Pare, I'm a Koros or Farm Ekonot, I'm a Furiboza. Okay? Then, Farm would go ki koru. There, Zivan dash the horse to fun. So, Zivan e khorata ruthe, khorata ruthe, khorata ruthe, khorata ruthe, So, what would be the word now? First up, eta bustu kwa. What is Zivan? Zivan is a person's name, right? Person's name hole itu ki hobo? Third person, isn't it? Third person, zivan ezone hoy. So that is singular. So what would be your verb now? Verb is ride. Very good. So to the ride hoy, what are we supposed to do when it's third person singular? We good. We are supposed to add an as after that. So the word would be what? Rides. Word would be what? Rides. So this is our word. All right. Moving ahead. We have our next lines now coming up. Let's see what are those. Deepa and I dash our time with rabbits and cubs. We dash birds and ants. So Deepa and I dash our time with rabbits. So homoi ki kori bo? Otibahito koribo, right? So takane word to ki hobo? Very good. The word would be what? Spend. It's spend. Now Deepa and I is singular or plural? It's plural, right? So if it's plural, can we say spends? No. So we'll say what? Spend. Deepa and I spend our time with rabbits and cubs. We dash birds and animals what would be the next one we dash birds and animals 
কিন্তু পশু পক্ষী বিল আমি কি করো আমি বেসিকলি ভাল পাও হয় নে নয় তো আমার কারণে শব্দ তো কি হব গুড ইটস লাভ ইটস লাভ উই লাভ বার্ডস এন্ড অ্যানিমেলস অলরাইট চলো মুভিং হেড অ্যানাদার পিক্সেল উই হ্যাভ সো হোয়াট ক্যান ইউ সি ইন দিস পিক্সেল देयर আর সাম ডাকস রাইট কেটামান হাস রাই আছে তে লোকে পানি say so what would be the line i dash ducks what could be my word here i dash ducks well definitely phal pao isn't it so i love ducks right and then ducks dash in the water ducks dash in the water so what would be the word now what do ducks will do in water swim well you know when we talk about ducks the word that is used is wait so the answer would be what ducks wait in the water then okay now moving ahead we dash our time together ami ama shomoy ki koru ami otibahito koru right So it would be what? I mean, anando koru upi bahito koru. So oti bahito koru ami upo bok koru. So the word would be what? We enjoy our time together. I mean, our time kini enjoy koru tar. All right? Fine then. So this is your definition for present tense. Itel ke ami present tense ko kotha koye silo. Now what would be the formal definition? Time expressing an action that is currently going on. habitually perform or a state that currently generally exist ta mane ki time expressing an action that is currently going on ene ko eta bostu jitu bortomane choli ase or jitu you know swabhabgoto bhabe kora jay ar no hole ene ko eta bostu jitu mane sidonto hoyto hoy hodai thake you know ene ko bostu bilakor logot ami present tense use koru basically simple present tense use koru so kene ko bostu use koru time expressing that the action is currently going on jitu bostu etiao choli ase then habitually perform jibilak bostu tumar swabhabgoto bhabe kora jay or a state that currently or generally exists kichu man bostu to hodai thake ba sidonton hoyto bol jibilak sidonton hoyto hoy there also we use present tense okay so eta ta ke now in next time we will be seeing all their uses in exam with examples Are we all ready? Fine then. Let's start. All these things are what? This is present tense. So now, first line is what? So as in Khoytut, ki hoye se? So ali jani hui hai sil? Suddenly hoye to alarm bazi le, kori tu chua, sota bazi se, to sota bazi se alarm bazi logo luke taay har paay gul. To taay re tu ki hoye tu? Doi nan din kaj jo hoye? so it would be what to express habitual action ami present tense ko use korim to express habitual actions okay so jeti ami habitual action mane ki jitu sinonto hoy doinondin hoyta kori thaka karyo hoy that is habitual action so etu bostu jodi eta la ami line up kobo lage ami kene ke kom what could be the line good the line would be she gets up at 6 in the morning she gets up at 6 in the morning or she wakes up at 6 in the morning okay then next ki kori ase she is brushing right brush kori ase so etu ami hodai koru brush kora to amar dinondin karcho hoy so etu bostu ami kene ke express kori metia brush kora to jehetu amar dinondin karcho how are we expressing that one she brushes her teeth every day she brushes her teeth every day okay so now yat tumar important bostu ki hobo mo tumar ko agote ki koy aisilu third person singular number hole we add an as after the subject so what was our subject it's she right so she is our third person here right so what we did 
our verb was brush and we have added an ES after that. So she brushes her teeth every day. Okay. Now moving ahead. She goes to school on her bicycle. She goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on her bicycle. Okay. Again, she goes to school on we have added an ES after the main verb, go. Got it? Good. Okay, then we have our next thing. What do we have here? The school bell rings at 9 o'clock. To malak sobe school odzwa? Hoi ne nahi, school bell to hodai nota bazate baze? Hoi ne nahi, so ito to hodai hoi. बोले आज ही नोटन पर इसे काली बोले साइन नोटन पर जी वो पौड़ा की बोले राती नोटन पर ते बजी वो ते ने खातो न होए होड़ा ही नोटा बजाते बजे सो दैट्स व्हाट आर डे टू डे एक्टिविटी सो डे टू डे एक्टिविटी होले अगेन ये तो की हो जावो प्रेजेंटेंस जब भी लग दुनिया दिन कर जो आसे तब हम की हेरे so when we talk about school bell, that is singular. So ring is my verb. I have we have added an S. So the school bell rings at nine o'clock. Monotrahiba Judy subject to third person singular number hoy, present tense or present indefinite tense or to malake verb of hodayata as use kuribo lagibo. Okay? Now, moving ahead, look at the ladies. Ki kori ase deo loke? Probably they are having their tiffin. Deo loke deo ko tiffin khai ase, hoi ne na hoi. See, it's lunch with her friend at 1 o'clock. Tumhara ko school at laser time ke eta bazaat hai? Probably eta bazaat hai. To eta bazaat hulae tumhara ko eta bazaat hai khaba na? So, khoda eta bazaat hai khaba? Aji bule laser eta, ati kino laser ar agote to kwa na hoi. So similarly, she eats lunch with her friends at 1 o'clock. This again is an habitual action. It is a habitual action. So in that case, we are again using, what are we using? Present tense. Okay. Our present tense or local to yet ki ase? She. She is what? Third person singular. So if it is third person singular, we are adding an S after the verb it. Okay? Good. Then, next up. She plays with her friends in the evening. She plays with her friends in the evening. Tumala ke khala ne ne khala. Tumala ko praye to sobbe khala hoi ne. School or pass job is at ability time or do you lock on to lock on to all of our holyo khala hoi ne ne hoi. So, ito hodai hoi. Again, do you need to encourage the hoi. So, ito ki ho bo simple present tense or present tense. She plays with her friends in the evening. Okay? Now, moving ahead, she helps her mother after school. She helps her mother after school. So, it again what? So, that's a present tense. Okay? She does her homework every day. Tumala ke zene ke kora school or bichod koi abeli porha ne no kora. Subbe porha, right? So she is also doing that. She does her homework every day. Again, every day means what? Daily. So that makes it a present tense. She watches TV after dinner. Watches TV. Again, that important was to ki hoi. She is the subject. What is the verb? So, verb verb is the key. We have added an ES. So, she watches the TV after dinner. Okay, moving ahead. She 
she goes to bed at 10 o'clock by dosta baja thui jay she goes to bed at 10 o'clock odai kore so that again is what present tense okay okay fine so she gets up at 6 in the morning she brushes her teeth she goes to school on her bicycle eti eta amar habitual action asen and the thing we will be focusing here now here is what we need to focus on are verbs right so verbs ki asen first verb was what you know this one is get then it's brush and then the next one is go since the subject is she what are we doing we are adding an then the school bell rings at 9 o'clock she eats lunch with her friends she plays with her friends in the evening she helps her mother after school you know again we are re revising those things these are habitual actions okay so yet ki ase we have our verbs rings its plays and helps these are our verbs so what we do with the verbs ring and I have added this as it added this one. right so ring to the verb asil verb bisor ami as jog korisu eat to the verb hoy ami tar bisor as add korisu play to the verb hoy ami tar bisor as add korisu help for bisor ami add as korisu okay sorry as add korisu okay again she does her homework she watches tv she goes to bed at 10 o'clock these are all our thing okay now another example ya tumaloke muk koba etia ya ki hoyse i'll be reading out and i'll be hoping ke tumaloke muk e bilan bostu koi jaba kot ki hoyse okay so this is mina's father's routine let's see what is their entire routine he gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning he gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning it i to ki tense hobo very good that would be a present tense good so present tense so that ki hoyse what is your verb here good it's get right subject is what it's he okay so amar yat main third person to ki hoy third person he is third person he is singular so we have added this as very good then the next line is what ki kori ase probably morning walk kot goise so etu kami kene ke express korim he goes for a walk every day he goes for a walk every day every day mane khodai jay so what tense should be this again present tense very good Then the next line, what is he doing? He is reading newspaper, right? So he reads newspaper at 7 a.m. He reads newspaper at 7 a.m. तो हमें ने कितिया को है? कितिया बोर अज़ाद को है? हट्टा बज़ाद, होड़ाई बोर है. So what would be this one? Which tense? Very good. Again, a present tense. Okay. Then the next one is what? He finishes his breakfast at 8 a.m. He finishes his breakfast at 8 a.m. अठ बजात तो ब्रेस्ट तो हैक करे। What would be this? दो इन्होंने दिन का जो है ना है। फदा ऑफिस उठ जाए, फदा यात्रा रुकी नहीं फॉलो करे। So what tense would be this? Present tense again. Good. तार पिसोत। He goes to office at 8:30 a.m. goes to office at 8:30 am 8:30 baje office ot jay etu ki hoy anata dinon din karjo hoy ne no hoy so etu ki hobo present tense e hobo akoi pai he returns at 5:30 pm he returns at 5:30 pm 5:30 baje ghuri aaye dinon din karjo hoy ne no hoy so etu ki hobo present tense e hobo then he plays with me now in the evening 
he plays with Mina in the evening. Another present tense. Good. All right. So, part pishot, etia ami eta belege ta use hoyse. Ami etia loke ki kori asilu? We are talking about the use of present tense in day to day activities. Kintu present tense or okol heitu use nohoy. Ami present tense guli kole dinondin kajo bolte present tense hobo tene kwa na hoy. Tad bade tar aru kisuman bebohar. Etia ami next e bebohar boro bikhoy kotha. Right? Are we all ready? Yeah. So start kora agote, to me dikhi sila, say in order than a zopia, mother than a zopia hi yad kori se. Eti hai to heading hole to express an activity that is permanent. Kisi man sibila ak bostu siros thai hoi, hei bostu bur buza bur karani aami ki koro, aami present tense or bebohar koro. Siros thai bostu bur buza bur karani aami present tense or bebohar koro. Kene khe koro? Sawasun? ए लोरा जने जोपिया आइसिल बहुत फुटित लगा जन लगिस आने तीन जन के व्हाई आर दे हैप्पी इट सीम्स दैट दे आर वेरी हैप्पी व्हाई आर दे हैप्पी संडे इज अ हॉलिडे वी ऑल नो दैट इजंट इट आई मीन सो बेस आई नो दैट संडे इज अ हॉलिडे संडे इज अ हॉलिडे वी ऑल नो दैट सो दैट्स यू नो विल दैट एवर चेंज विल यू हैव योर स्कूल्स ऑन संडे संडे तुम्हारा को स्कूल खुला था कने की नेवर राइट you know your schools are never open open on sundays it's most always remains closed so sunday is a holiday this is a permanent thing that will never change so when we have something permanent what we do we use present tense which present tense simple present tense then what is happening here somebody is hoisting the national flag Somebody is hoisting the national flag. So when do we do that? We do that on 15th January. Sorry, 15th of August and 26th of January. I mean, Pondra August or Sabi January day to go. So what's that? We celebrate Independence Day on 15th August. I mean, Pondra August or Dinahon Sadino Tadibok or Japan Kuru. We celebrate Independence Day on 15th August. So can we do that on 15th of March? Never, right? Kete abar ame itu pundro September koi ba parin ni? No aru. So, you know, we celebrate Independence Day on 15th August. That is a permanent thing. So, when we talk about permanent thing, the tense use this present tense. Okay. So, next up. The setup the express runs from Bengaluru to Chennai. So that the express con Bangalore pa send nai na ke zai. Zai itu permanent bostu hai, hodai zai. So that would be what? Present tense. To express a future event that is part of a fixed program. Ena bhubishote hobolo ka bostu hata, zitu hata nidhari to karjo rusir angkho hai. You know, if we have to use the express that, we will be using what? Present tense. We will be using present tense. Say for example, you know in this one, the next flight is at 5 tomorrow morning. So flight schedules are always fixed only. You know, Uraza has a schedule will fix it. Okay. So if one flight left at 10 at night, next flight is leaving at 5 in the morning. So that is a fixed thing. So we are using what? Present tense. The next flight is at 5 tomorrow morning. Okay. Then... Look, this lady looked worried. Kup tension of thokas and lagi se. Savita's examination starts Monday. Savita's examination starts Monday. Tumala ko zuri routine di dea porikha kaone. Can the day change? No, right? If the exam is supposed to start on Monday, it will start on Monday only. So that's a few setting, but it is fixed. Permanent. So then what we do? We use present tense. Okay? Then the next line is what? The maths starts at 9 o'clock. Maths covers at start. Hoy. It's a permanent thing. So it will be like this only. To express a general truth or fact. To express a general truth or fact. Sivilak mane hadharan gyan hoy. Or fact 
you know and all these things in terms of Hajj. so these kind of things to express these things we use present tense say for example the sun is a hot ball of fire the sun is a hot ball of fire this is this will always be true sun will always remain a hot ball of fire so the, here what will be used will be using present tense right then what's next sugar is sweet sugar is sweet so it's a permanent thing it would be what present tense all right now finally you have a question it's question time all of you people please get ready with your clicker your a question is coming your way okay and to answer this one I'm giving you 30 seconds. Three seconds, I say, get ready with your clickers and please answer this question. Okay, so what could be the answer? It would be option what? The students always does to does go to school. Answer is what? Option A, go to school. Okay, then the next one. What's that? The earth revolves around the sun. The earth revolves around the sun this is an universal truth so that would be in present tense so present tense of ami keta mer category thak koribo paru we can divide that in certain categories use wise so universal habitual permanent and fixed universal habit permanent and fixed you know so in these cases we use present tense so if we celebrate republic day on 26 january what's that that is permanent. Then my father goes to office by train. That is what habitual. Then dolphin lean sea. What would be that? That would be what an universal truth. Summer vacation starts in four uh, in April. What would be that? The permanent thing. Then we sing national and. A school that would be a permanent thing. I mean, then next would be what the sky is blue. What would be that? That's an universal thing. Then after that, what do we have? You know, rainbow has seven colors. You know, that's again an universal thing. Then I pray God every day. What would be that? Again, it would be an you know, universal. Sorry. I pray to God every day would be a habitual thing. Then the Kabaddi match starts at 8 o'clock. What would be that? That would be what? Fixed. Okay. So one more question. Get ready with your clickers. All of you. You'll have 30 seconds again to answer the question. Okay, time up. So, what's the right answer? Our annual examination that's from next week. Answer would be what? Option B starts. Okay. Now, fill in the blanks with the correct form of verbs. Let's try and do it together. Zims, that's hard. What would be the answer here? 
how will we write it james is third person singular right ma agote koisilu so the word would be what works then the next one is they dash basketball every sunday what will be the word it will remain play only priya dash german priya is singular or plural singular right so that is what third person so what will we say will say speaks then a cat dash a rat it's eats a rat maya dash an elephant with a pencil draws an elephant okay then elephant dash heavy logs of woods it would be what carries tom and jerry dash with each other it's fights with each other fine okay i dash my teeth twice a day i brush my teeth twice a day okay fine then so here is an assignment for you all please try and do that at home it would be what write six sentences about your school using present tense please do this at home write six sentences about your school using present tense now before we wind up let's have a close look what we have learned today so what was the definition of present tense time expressing an action that is currently going on habitually performed or a state that currently or generally exist so this is what present tense present tense is used to express habitual action and the example was this then you have to express an activity that is permanent example is this then what to express a future event that is part of a fixed program example is this and then to express a general truth or a fact and this is the example okay fine then so with that we'll wind up for today hope you have understood and if you have some queries you can ask that